The following steps below will properly teach you how to create a push stick. After accumulating your ideas together on the push stick, make sure you have all safety precautions measured. After taking these first steps, make sure your safety glasses properly fit your head and are clean for a proper view. Afterwards, place the glasses on your head and you're ready to get your wood. When you are looking for wood, try and find medium density fiberboard for a satisfying result. After you have selected your wood, bring it to a work table where you can trace the push stick outline on the medium density fiber wood appropriately. When tracing your push stick, make sure the length is 37 centimeters and the width is 6 centimeters. After the length and width are properly measured, make sure the total thickness is 19 millimeters. Afterwards, head on over to a bandsaw, but before you turn on the machine, make sure the saw blade is just above the wood by a pencil width from safety measures. Then proceed to turn the bandsaw on and make your relief cuts and straight cuts. After you do this, you should have a push stick that's ready to be constructed on. After you have your push stick cut out, head on over to the sanding blowers where you will sand the entire push stick with an air pressurized sander. Shortly after this is done, proceed by grabbing a piece of sandpaper and by hand sand all edges until you are satisfied with the final sanding stages. After the sanding is done, grab your push stick and go to a clean work table. Grab the router and then proceed to use it on the lower half of your push stick where the handle region is. Now make sure when you are done using the router that it's properly put back where you found it. After that, check for any sharp edges. Finally, you can head on over to the drill press where you will need to drill a hole. The hole should be 13 millimeters in diameter. The sole purpose of the hole is so that you may hang it up anywhere you'd like if you desire. Now the drilling stage is complete. You should have a project that looks something like this.